Hey guys, my name's Justin and welcome to Hellsboro, where we care about the design behind designer luxury. And if you do too, make sure to subscribe. Alright, so for today's video, I have another don't be basic. So what I mean by don't be basic is that I wanted to offer up a bag that has like a similar vibe, similar energy, and if possible has like the same or similar kind of color available to one of the bags that I'm showing to compare off of. And it's not to say one or the other is better than another, but it is nice to support these smaller brands or like these more off the beaten path brands and you know you get something that has a little bit more personality maybe like it's it's unique it's something that other people maybe don't have and I always think it's fun to like be a little bit different not because it like makes me better or anything although I'm just kidding. what is it called a preamble no a guard what is it called precaution so as a disclaimer if you have one of these bags that I'm talking about I'm not trying to call you basic it's just saying like you know, these bags are like popping off really like recently or over the course of the past year or so. Like they're super popular, which a lot of these bags I do actually like. But then it's like, if you want something that feels like that, but maybe isn't so like, I don't know, in the mainstream, I wanted to give some suggestions of bags basically. I have five bags, but then I have a little bonus one at the beginning just because like this bag has been everywhere but immediately it reminded me of another bag. The uh, Saint Laurent I Care Maxi Shopping Bag in Quilted Lambskin. You know how I was like, oh, I like a lot of these bags. I like most of these bags. This is not one of those bags that I like. I do not get it. It literally looks like just like a giant shopping tote made with like quilted lambskin and then there's a huge like YSL on the front. Like that's not my jam. If it is for you, good for you. Hope you get it. Looking at the shape, specifically the way that they show it initially on the website, it reminded me so much of the Margiela, but like the diffusion line. So the MM6 Japanese knot bag. So this bag, it has that same kind of like triangular feel, but then there's a, a little like snap closure kind of thing on each of the corners on opposite sides so that you can have fun with playing with the structure of it. So you can twist it around itself, you can twist it underneath, through the handle, and connect the snaps, and create different shapes with the bag, and I think that's so fun. And honestly, like, if you're paying, like, however many thousands of dollars for that other bag, maybe it's just, like, I'm missing the boat on this one, but, like, I do not see the draw. Meanwhile, this MM6 bag, it came out in, like, 2009. It has a very similar, almost, like, grocery tote kind of look to it, but then you can play with the structure, you can have a little fun. And I know this is a bonus because like, everyone knows about MM6, everyone knows about Margiela. I think a lot of people have seen this bag already, but I just wanted to like call attention to it. So the next bag I wanna talk about is if you love the Bottega Veneta Teen Jody, if you love that like top handle, you love like the woven leather kind of like look to it with the knot, you know, there's like a billion different colors and I don't know, whatever. <laughs> The bag I wanted to show you is by Kara, 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 and it's called the Exploded Knot Armpit Bag. <laughs> Honestly, that's what they should call the Jody too, because the only way you could wear that is getting it right up in your armpit. But this bag, it gives me the same energy, but then amplified. So the material is like this satin that's been like filled with like, it doesn't say if it's like polyester or whatever is the fill, but it has this like puffiness to it. And it has the same kind of shape, this like rounded kind of top handle bag. The texture of it is super smooth, has a little bit of a sheen. So for it to be knotted like that, it gives the same kind of feel as like the intrecchio, intrecciato kind of like interwoven leather. But then there's a lot more texture because it's all knots. And I know like for me, one of the things that I find interesting about the Jody, the Teen Jody, any of that part of the family is the knot. So then for this bag to be made of like exclusively knots, I think is hilarious. And then there's a little bit of transparency, there's a little bit of breath that goes through the bag because it isn't fully sealed off or like fully closed off. But then it does come with like a nice little mesh pouch so that you don't have to worry about your like valuables like falling through the cracks. Uh, I just wanted to read one thing from the website. Use the removable mesh zipper pouch to hold your phone, wallet, keys, hopes, and dreams. So I love that. Anytime when a brand's being a little bit silly, beautiful. The next bag I wanted to talk about is if you love the Prada Clior, then you 
probably love a good structured kind of like shoulder bag shape. And you probably love that like thin little dainty strap to wear up and you, you, know, you throw it on your shoulder and it's just like a little like mm. But then the one I have to offer is the Thane bra bag. Yes, you heard me right. I said the word bra on the internet. Again, it's a leather bag, but then it plays with the roundness through like the usage of darts. So kind of what you would see in like tailoring, things like that, where you like cut out a little bit of like whatever the fabric is and close it off with a dart, or I guess maybe you close it off and then cut it off. I don't know, I don't make clothes, but <laughs> it's, it plays with that kind of form. And like, if you like look at it, you see it has this kind of rectangular shape, but then it has this like roundness. It kind of reminds me a bit of like, if like the cone bra, the Jean-Paul Gaultier one, was kind of like a uniboob. <laughs> so then like you see like it has that kind of sh I don't know. I just I'm just I like saying bra and boob. So but what I do think is nice is that it still has like a little bit of structure while adding some softness from that like darting detail. There's something that feels a little bit more practical about it still being a little bit more rectangular rather than it's being so like oval like the Clior bag is. Next up, I'm actually really excited to talk about this bag. So if you love the Christian Dior saddlebag, you love that little like kidney shape, you love how it's like full of funky, I have a bag for you. So this bag is from a brand called Ratio et Modus. Am I saying that right? But then this bag is the holster. So if you look at this bag, I don't know, the strap is kind of weird. It looks like it's in between like crossbody and shoulder. I'm sure it's adjustable to make it work with whatever length of strap you want. It has that similar like kidney-esque shape. It's not as defined necessarily, but then this bag that I specifically have on screen right now, this reminds me of any of the Galliano like saddle bags much more than what Maria Grazia Ciuri is putting out right now. Like it has this leather, but then this mesh, it adds like a bit of sportiness. It adds a little bit of that like Y2K feeling that's like for some reason, still super big. I don't know, this feels so much closer to what I think Galliano had been doing for Dior when he was the creative director versus like really a lot of like the safe, kind of boring saddle bag options that we're seeing now that like is just driven by commerciality, it's driven by sales. This has a little bit more character, but that's not even the best part. When you open up this bag, it is weirdly, organized like you open up the top and then you see there's like a little pouch there's a coin perch and that's just on like the underside of like the flap and then there is of course the main compartment as well i love this bag i normally am like not into like utility like the multi pochette with all like the things or the prada ones with all the pockets on the pockets i love things that are a little bit more ridiculous but i love how they put it on the inside where it kind of matters anyways the more i look at this bag the more i like this bag because it has that little bit of weirdness it really is giving like y2k like john galliano at dior i don't know it just feels a lot more authentic to me for like a saddlebag than what i'm seeing that is actually Dior right now. Okay, so I know that one for me was like really exciting to tell you guys. I think this one's a lot of fun too. So if you are maybe a fan of the Balenciaga Hourglass, but maybe you're kind of feeling iffy about buying from them, or maybe you are just tired of Balenciaga in general, I have the bag for you. So this bag is from a Korean brand called Osoi. The bag is called the Circle Mini. And if you can't tell the reason, <laughs> why I'm suggesting this one to either replace or so that you can have something that looks like the Hourglass or has a similar feel but maybe is supporting a smaller brand or something like that is that base. That base is lifted up. I think for me the Hourglass, the most exciting thing about that bag is that the base has that curvilinear detail on the bottom. I know that it is less angular than the Hourglass but I think there's a, a softness that's created by the rounded top. It feels kind of like the Alma from Louis Vuitton or just a lot of those kind of like rounded bags and then having that roundness also replicated at the bottom. I almost want to say like it's not necessarily like playfulness but it's a little bit of cleverness, right? Like it doesn't feel extremely like out there as a design. The handle detail is really interesting but the the general structure of the bag feels kind of like like a classic shape but then the small details like the bottom of the bag like the handle detail it brings it up just a little bit enough so that there's enough visual interest that people will probably take a second look at that bag and be like wait what is that what's going on there? I think that's 
kind of the charming thing about this bag. It's not super flashy, but the details are there. And for people who care about the details or are interested in details, they will like, you know, they'll turn their head to look at it again. And then the last bag I wanted to talk about is if you love the Fendi Fendigraphy, for some reason, you know, it's all good. For me personally, I don't quite get it. Like the whole like focal part of the bag is the bottom, which is going to get scratched when you put it down. Cause like, who's going to lay their bag on the side, right? Like, I don't know. That's just me. Like if you love the idea of that, but maybe you're not in love with the idea of it being a logo on the bottom, or you're not in love with the idea of that being scratched and it being like the, the thing that makes the bag interesting. I have the bag for you. By Stella McCartney. And it is called the Frame Me Bag. It's spelled like frame, but then they added a Y. So I'm like the Frame Me Bag. For me, this bag offers a very similar feel. It has hardware that not only wraps around the bottom of it, and it is still an icon of the Stella McCartney bag line of these like multi-metal chains. But then the fact that the chain goes around the bottom of the bag and then it continues to become the handle, the strap, I think that is beautiful. It creates this kind of like circle feel and then the bag fits inside of it. Even though like the bag is mostly rectangular but then the top of it curves and has that bit of softness too. It's interesting because you're playing with the roundness. You're playing with a little bit of like the curved rectangle. You're creating a lot of shapes in this bag that I think makes this bag very fun. Honestly because it's not spelling out a word or anything like that. It is just a chain. You have the chain, you set it on the table, it gets scratched, that's fine. At least with the chain, it's going to feel natural. It's gonna wear in nicely, I think, because, you know, chains do scratch because it's just a lot of moving parts and pieces. All right, so those are the bags that I'm recommending. If you like, maybe are a fan of some of these, but they're not perfect, or you just wanna support a smaller brand, something like that, let me know what you guys think. Do you think any of these bags are cute? Do you have any of these bags? There's a few bags on this list that I actually really like. Honestly, I'm kind of thinking about it, but you know, that'll be a decision for later, like for future Dustin. But that is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It lets me know that you like this kind of content and that you too care about the design behind Designer Luxury. Until next time. Is that how normal people wave?